in this tutorial of showing you how to edit CSPs and SSPs. That is character selection portraits and stage selection portraits. Um, <clears throat> this is handy when you made a imported a model over Mario or something like that and you want to show on the selection screen the model you have instead of Mario's because it can get confusing when you forgot which model you have like a bunch of imports and you want to play as like Shadow Sonic and but you well obviously it's going to be over regular Sonic but let's say you put it over like Luigi you know like have so many model imports which one's Shadow that's when a, a custom character's selection portrait will come in handy. <clears throat> You're going to need an SC Select Character EN dot pack and an SC Select Map EN dot pack. <clears throat> I'm using it. I usually use these individually, but to make this tutorial a little easier to follow, I'm just going to be using them in the comic 5 en dot pack. So for CSPs, I'm going to SC select character en and scroll down to miscellaneous data 70. Open textures and you have all the portraits. <coughs> and names of characters which is above the portrait so I made a model import import of Fire the guy from Twilight Princess over Mario so let's replace this portrait with his portrait that you make so open up um, a picture editing program. Just wait for it to load. Uh -huh. And open up the picture of the model or the character you want to import into Brawlbox. Here he is. So if we import him like this, it will be stretched and the game will freeze because you have to have the width of 80 and the height of 56. So let's edit this. height of 80 and width 56 Is that right? yes scale it oh yeah it's got to be in pixels there he is um, scale down <laughs> now just save it Save as, save somewhere where I can easily access it. Name it. back into Brawl Box, right click on the character's portrait that you have selected and click replace. Go to where you saved the image right 
by ear. It's a little pixely and all that. Um, you can adjust that. Make sure everything's just right. But this is for just demonstration purposes. Make sure the format is CMPR. And click OK. <clears throat> there we go. We got a CSP. Now, <clears throat> for a stage, it's the same thing, but you gotta go into SC Solomap EN dot pack, or just the little node if you're using comma five. Let's see if I'm right. Yes. Go to miscellaneous data eighty. Open it up. Go to textures. And you have all the stage data. Well, stage portraits. And the victories. Hmm, like little pictures, names. So, I have made, again, I make a lot, a Let's replace Louise Mansion icon with Lake Hylia icon. So again, right click, replace, go to where you saved your image. Now, it's got to be 64 by 56, and the format has to be C18. Uh, it has to have a palette. Uh, the newest raw box automatically creates the palette. It might have happened in older raw boxes, but, you know, it's okay. There's your... <clears throat> little icon that I select. Now if we scroll down further, we'll find the names. But I'm um, just do the same thing. Make sure the width is 208 by 56. Format is I4. Um. See if I can get this. Here's gonna be the image is gonna be displayed on the side. It's gotta be 156 by 156 format CMPR. So that's all of them. Um so let's replace we just mansion again. Right click, replace, find your texture. This got to be CMPR. 156 by 156. Okay. And there you have it. Um So, go to File, Save As, save what you want. Uh, uh, no compress. Now, <clears throat> if you saved it in common 5 EN, well, one second. 
if you're using a com 5 dot pack you'll need to go to your SD card private we <coughs> at RSBE PF and system <coughs> Put your common five en dot pack in there, but remove the en extension, so it's just common five dot pack. <coughs> <coughs> now, if you're using <coughs> just select map en and select character en, you have to put it into private we app rsbe pf menu 2 drag them in here remove the en extension again and you are good load up raw and your images should be there um trying to think here yeah, I've covered everything. Um, if you like this, go to my blog to vote on the next tutorial. If I get new votes, I already have a chosen tutorial I'm going to do. So, yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.